obviously this you know does sort of show team usa what they might be doing but i think it's more beneficial for them to practice and see how this comp does fare uh into skill cap of course it could also just be that they think that they need to match Arantian on this soul beast and they don't want steel on the hollow but i would like to think that maybe just trying something different to see if they have a have a better shot of playing like this into team usa but we'll have to see what happens it is going to be game number one and whoever loses this is out for good of the mode, and whoever wins will be going up to face Team USA, but they will be locked into those global finals either way. It is, of course, one. Uh, you know, a best of three, so not just this map is where things rest, but absolutely, you know, taking that first game is going to be a very, very big deal for either of these teams. And already we see uh, Darkio essentially grabbing the dragon immediately uh, while simultaneously pushing their Soul Beast over there. And we see the SC uh, skill capped very aggressively, ignoring their own closer and just going directly for mid and maybe looking to try and pick up a kill on Moobs, although Moobs is good, he's got some good distancing here and he should be okay looking to retreat back towards, uh, back towards his own node. Wait, what the, what the? I think that might have been Shadow Portal there. Beyond yeah, I think, yeah. has the Shadow Portal on. Yeah, we didn't see that coming. Beyond has swapped into Shadow Portal and Moobs doing an excellent job. Well, Beyond really doing an excellent job of kiting his Firebrand out. Obviously, a little bit of a shake up there. I mean, that's exactly what we were talking uh, yeah, about. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Utilizing different kind of mechanics to to kite away, and and I like to see it. It's very good. Shadow Aye. Portal fell out of the meta after it got nerfed there for a while, but Beyond maybe trying to bring it back as he realizes the Firebrand going to be an easy target and well, the prime target for most of these teams. I got a little bit worried there, uh, Roy, for a moment. I realized I was on the NA servers. I was like, wait a minute, what the hell is going on here? But of course, that is completely above board and the team fight continues to rage here Murr and Hannibal under a lot of pressure trying to kite away lots of CC and Immobilizer is coming down there Hannibal trying to kite can he get it moves looking to change the C but Hannibal ports out still taking a lot of condition damage there he should get cleansed there by Spectral but actually no he gets caught and Hannibal is going to go down and I think he's actually a little bit out of reach skill cut actually should be able to resin though Yura and Anya might be able to get that Grim but looking to go for the interrupt but isn't going to be able to get it and that is going to be a clean revive there uh, Dark is not able to finish that but Murr is going to be the next target here as well a few blocks left over but that is going to be it, and I think Moobs in position with the Necromancer should be able to cleave that out fairly effectively. Absolutely, and we do see some points on the board here now for skill cap. They've actually got the side nodes. Your will be starting to hold down the dragon, although I don't know how long he'll be able to do so. And we actually see mid getting decapped as well by Xenius, getting some value on the rest of the map, but we will see team, uh, Dark USA start to, start to migrate now towards mid. They're going to send their Ranger Steel back over there. They do get the decap now on dragon, and we will also see uh, Beyond begin to make his way over towards the line node. However, he does obviously have to be careful. There's respawns coming out now from skill cap. He's not going to be able to get that decapped either. Xenius is there, and Beyond has actually now found himself in a bit of a precarious position. Three versus one. Does need to be very careful. He will be able to get the stealth up, though. And he actually might even be able to get a decap. He, yeah, he kind of sneaks by there. Like, under the radar uh, is Beyond. He, he, yeah, he's going to go for a bit of stealth to just make sure he's able to get that. And I think, uh, you know, we see Hannibal really wanting to secure that sword buff. Uh, Yura getting taken out 1v3 and allowing Dark USA to push back onto the map. But the buff is actually going to go uh, in the direction of Hannibal here, at least for the sword buff. And we already see uh, Xenia's actually looking to contest the top buff too. So that could be a bit of a swing there because these fights have not exactly been one-sided. And the, having both of the buffs simultaneously would certainly be quite the edge skill cap needs uh, to at least get a very clean victory in one of these next engagements. Oh, Beyond, unfortunately, not able to stop the sword in time. And Hannibal was there so early. I actually am almost surprised there. I mean, he sat there AFK for a good 10-15 seconds before he got the buff up, but obviously it did pay off. They're going to be able to get both of the moves now forced into the RF. is going to be very, very low around mid, and it doesn't look like there's a thief around to get him out with a shadow portal. Beyond is making his way over there, but will it be in time? We just see Skillcap looking for that kill on the Firebrand very early. Yep, Beyond is there. He does have the Shadow Portal available, I believe. And, but not in time as Moobs is going to go and announce it. There's the Reaper buff starting to go for the stomp. The res is beyond there by Grimjack, but it's not going to be in time. And Skillcap take the fight back. And they're going to be able to pick up that kill on the Firebrand of Dark USA. And Dark USA still holding for them. They get a good clean disengage there. Nos uh, moving away with Grim and Beyond. Now Grim in a little bit of trouble. He is uh, being intercepted there but you know when it's Connor he should be okay and Yura still uh oh, sorry no Steel rather will be able to hold onto the line for a little bit we don't actually see a rotation from skill cut over to that so they're actually clinging on to their lead and will accelerate that lead too uh while still maintaining that two cap for at least a little while in this game Nos taking a big big backstab uh to the spine there and that will force him out of this engagement for a while but you know with moves now off respawn I think we're going to start to see Dark USA thinking about taking this fight in the near future Absolutely, and we do see, you know, as that fight sort of went the way, oh, we actually hold that thought, Steel, or Nos rather, and Beyond both going to be taken out here. The Reaper buff getting a lot of finishes this day, and that's going to be three kills picked up in a matter of minutes here for Skillcap. 
And honestly, Dark USA's team fight not really looking so hot. Obviously, Team USA did a very big number on them, but Skill Cap doing the same thing. And we will actually see them hold on to the double cap here now on the map. We have obviously Rantian holding down mid, so Dragon goes the way of Skill Cap, and that's two nodes taken here. And that would be enough to put the advantage back into Skill Cap's favor. And exactly is correct indeed. And skill caps certainly demonstrating that they are here to put up a fight. They want to go all the way up to that grand final. They want to go to the global fights. In fact, more than that. And they are looking pretty damn strong. They're getting those two really, really big kills. It's absolutely fantastic. They've got a good 1v1 that's not really going to go anywhere there uh, on mid. And if they can just get another kill here, that would be fantastic. They are fighting this to Dark USA spawn. And Murr really feeling the, uh, the consequences of that. Getting chain CC'd and burning through cooldowns. Very, very quickly. No, just have renewed and should be able to get back in the mix fairly quickly. But the team is without support. And we see that Xenius has been eliminated. And actually, Murr, well, that might be a little bit of a tricky escape, to be perfectly honest with you. It actually looks like uh, Skill Capped should be able to wriggle away the Dark USA concern with the Anya being the main target. I think it's just going to be a die on point situation for Anya. Yeah, he knows he's not going to be able to really disengage from that super effectively. And a great knock there from Grim will allow that Revenant to get bled out for a little bit while also decapturing the map. And Dark USA also. You can maybe go for the bus, but actually, Skill Cup, they are on it again, Roy. They are really, really there on these buses. Will see beyond here, though. He is he does anticipate this, and he's going to be there in time to prevent Hannibal from getting it. Top off, though, once again, is going to go the way of Skill Cap for free. We are going to see them being able to pick that up. There was a rotation from Dark USA, but it was just a little bit too late, and Mur was going to be able to pick that up well in time. Still, Dark USA will get the side nodes, and I got to say, that last fight, I think, was a little bit of a of an, a case of overextension there from Skill Cap. They were in a bit of a tough spot, though, just because they didn't really want to push into the line towards their spawn, just because it was being held down by the Ranger, and they knew it might take a while, and they thought maybe they could win the fight, but oh. the risk that they play with that is, as you mentioned, the respawn's coming in, and you do see Xenias a little bit low here. Moob's going to be a little bit low as well, as he's starting to get chased down here now by Anya, by Murr, but he's going to be able to get up those boxes very, very easily. Grimjack and Nas able to peel for him as well, and right now, what Skill Cap need to do is they got to break one of these side notes. Does look like maybe they're going to be trying to do that over the lion because Anya and Murr are currently going to be overextending here in a two versus three. Urantian will be coming in to make that even, but other than peeling, he's not really going to be able to do too much. We will see now Nas being brought over to the node. Urantian might actually be able to stop that decap from happening. He is, and the decap is going to come through now. Anya going to be able to nullify the dragon node. Lion at the same time actually happens on the other side of the map. Steel very, very low, just able to swoop away. But Xenius is going to be keeping to look for him beyond. Just got a really nice fear on him, though. Hannibal is not going to be able to catch up to the Ranger. And that will be still getting out. Would have been a very good kill, but a nice job there from beyond to help peel his Ranger out. Skill Cap find themselves in a good spot, though. They might be able to capture the dragon here. They're really looking to force it. And I think a lot of the success actually came down to a really nice play that Hannibal made um, on the uh, on the soul buff actually fearing the thief away while simultaneously channeling it and denying the thief the thief actually fell down didn't have initiative to port back up and grabbing that soul buff was fantastic and for a quick little rotation then nos is the target here for sure they want to get that pull they want to get that cc and he is in a hell of a lot of trouble no real shroud no lich and that just might be a death yes it is they're going to go for the rest of dark they're going to go for it and they do get it nice rest there great discipline from dark USA. but nos oh the pain train is still here and the health bars starting to get a little bit low there beyond force disengage there and that res is not going to come through for a second time there. No, Steel will be able to pick up the line for free, and a really good decap from beyond earlier while this fight was happening over on mid is going to completely shut down any point gain here that we're going to see from Skill Cap, but again, these these fights are starting to kind of go the way of Skill Cap, and Dark USA is kind of starting to maybe realize that this isn't going to be a free game. I don't, don't know if they were expecting that, but either way, clearly Skill Cap here to play. Moves will go down a little bit before Murr. We will see the stops coming out from both teams. Wait, is Murr going to get rallied? He is just Barely, though. That was actually a bit of a risky situation. Beyond, though, probably going to get caught out here. Anya, as well as Xenius here. Nas will come back in off respawn, but it's not going to be in time to save his thief from going down state. They might be able to get the res, though. The blood res is on it, but no. Nas realizing he has to get away from that. And we are actually starting to see Dark USA get hard staggered here as Beyond is cleaved out. Moob's coming back in off respawn, but we still see the double cap here held for skill cap. And they've almost closed the distance. It's about a 25-point di uh, difference now between Dark USA and Anya will be able to get onto the dragon. Just barely been able to hold that contest. Yeah, Beyond really wants to go for that decap, and honestly, I'm surprised that Skill Cap is going to keep trying to fight here. I, I do think it's very risky for them to continuously take this fight on the Dragon, as opposed to focusing more on the Lion uh, there as well, because they are eventually going to get driven away. They just won't have the ability to maintain all of this, especially with all those respawns. Not going to be able to go for those buffs right now for uh, Dark USA, and you know, that's very much reflected in how that engagement is going. Anya getting shoved away very, very hard indeed. Dark USA converging on Anya's location to try and get that kill. Though. Yeah, both buffs have come through uh, from Skill Cup because they did kind of have Dark USA pinned, having, as you say, a little bit of a stagger there, preventing them from getting out on the map. But 
I mean, uh, well, they're a little bit behind in the hype, but maybe the buffs will redeem them here. Well, I mean, they certainly are a massive advantage. Let's see if they can make it work here. Things are starting to get very, very tasty indeed. Here comes the Lich Form from Hannibal. That's going to be a Lich Form with the Sword of Reaping. Nos did get stealth up there going for that disengage, but he's not contributing to this fight whatsoever right now. might actually go down to Torment. Oh, Shroud just able to keep alive at 118 health. Anya and Mercy see that, and they are going to go for that Necro. It does mean that the team fight is going to be a little split. And Xenius goes down, but he immediately gets back up because of the, the shield buff. Nas is going to be taken out here. Such a lucky rally on that thief that could have completely thrown the fight away. Xenius is still going to be pretty pressured here, but they will have the advantage now with Nas dead. They need to get that decap out, though, and realizing this, Beyond is going to start making his way over to the node in case Xenius goes for a decap, but I don't think it's going to matter. They can't continue to contest this four versus three, especially with double buffs on this team fight. Xenius is still going to be pretty pressured out here, but a nice fear ring coming out now onto the node here from Hannibal. It's going to completely force him away. Grimjack going to be trying to contest this. Xenius is still getting chased down by Beyond, but skill cap should have the advantage, but it's just not enough. Nas has come back up, respawn, and skill cap are now fighting against the clock. 47 points or so behind, and they've got to get these decaps, and they've got to get these caps coming out here. Moves very, very low, just able to sustain himself. Look at him going up and then down and then up and then down. Knockback, though, is going to connect, and Moobs will fall. Nas a little bit low, Grimjack a little bit low, Beyond a little bit low. Oh, skill capped all looking very, very unhealthy, but they will be able to find that kill and rally their firebrand, but they've got to get this cap. 410 points now for Dark USA, and they're looking to finish this game out, but Beyond will fall as Murr is about to do the, the same yeah, himself. Yeah, Murr made it to the point, but he's not long for this world, and skill cut really have to go for that res at this point, I think. If they lose that kill, there's no way they can recover. Oh, and the cleave is pretty damn good from USA. The res just come through, but I mean, they res the Guardian with no cooldowns. I'm not sure if that's really going to help them too much, especially seeing as Nos, uh, sorry, rather, Moobs has got the respawn. They do get two kills, though. They get Grim and Beyond. That's absolutely fantastic, and skill cut might actually be able to get a bit of a redemption arc in this game. Um, we're going to see that Steve Steel is going to be holding on to that one point over there. But actually, as long as Skill Cut is able to hold this, they will end up winning this game. They're going to find themselves accelerating into the lead if they can continue to take this fight here and continue to come out on top. And you see Skillcap, actually, they realize this. They, and they want to push for a kill. so very hard, but we do see do now the response coming out at the same time. Xenius is so very low, but Nas will go down. Moves going for the res. I don't think he should be able to get that. Grimjack coming in to help it as well, but the stop from Murr is going to be good. Ooh. And there's going to be another kill added to the board. Still, Skillcap need to be careful. They don't have it in the bag yet. Xenius still so very low, not able to get out of combat. We will see buffs coming up as well, I think. And there's a second. Not sure if we're going to see them go for it. We will see we, at the moment. Xenius starting we to are. go for the bottom buff. Oh, that's so risky. Oh. It is very, very risky, and I think realizing this, Dark USA know they have to push on, but the difference is about to happen. We're about to see skill cap overtake them. Beyond a move's still going to be low, but all five players here from Dark USA have pack gotten back here. Hannibal going to be forced into the lich form. They have to be able to hold on for a little bit longer. The sword of ripping coming in. Grimjack Grim already be very low, getting bursted so very hard. The clean heal will keep him alive, but Beyond going to be pretty low, and Grimjack probably going to fall here. Anya chasing him down. He is able to get up top, but the sword of reaping now going to start to finish him. Wait, moves with the rest. Hannibal. Is it going to be in time? Can oh. he get it? No, the reaping. Buff takes him out, and that might just be enough to finish the game. I think it game. is. Nas with the Lich form with the cleave out, but it's not going to be enough to finish the thief. And skill cap, I think, are about to take a game off of Dark USA. 20 points away. Hannibal low. Dark USA still trying to fight into it, but Beyond is taking too much pressure. He's not going to be able to stay in this fight for long. Both the Necker and the Thief going to go down, but the Reaper buff going to stay on top of Beyond. And that will be the stop, the cleave, the kill. And that's GG. Skill cap take game number one. Wow, what an underdog story here for Skill Cap. They're able to just take it away there after fighting almost the entire game. But we actually had like a graph of map possession. In fact, we actually do, funny enough. Look at the possession um, uh, on the, the uh, kind of like the fight over the dragon there the entire time. We see so much blue over there, which you normally wouldn't see. Of course, uh, Dark USA having uh, the possession, of course, on the line for most of the game. But the fight for the dragon was just endless and skill kept able to actually come out on top somehow uh, by a bit of a, uh, you know, what a, what a great series of plays there uh, coming out from skill captain. The teams need to, they've actually joined the uh, the wrong color there. You know, it's like, it, it's a complicated business. It really is. Uh, so I, I genuinely am interested to see how these team fights go now where the buffs aren't in favor of skill captain. I'm not saying that they necessarily didn't deserve to win that and they only won because of the buffs but that had a huge impact in those fights and it's going to be very very influencing to see how they match up now against dark usa assuming that dark usa decides to just play straight into it the same way they did before uh, without those buffs but obviously a very impressive performance from skill capture you'll love to see it this is game number two if dark usa loses this that's it they are done their run that most people thought was going to be a confirmed spot in the global finals is over and skill cap will be taking their place but they're still fighting, they're still here, and still cap, still need to win one more game. So here it is, boys and girls, match game, rather, number two of this set. Kylo. Again, you can definitely see 
uh, some uh, more of a straight up game here. Like as you were mentioning, uh, this is a very mechanically neutral map. Uh, I doubt teams are really going to be playing around the trebuchet too much. Uh, so there are no buffs to help out Skill Cup. They're going to have to rely on their raw gaming talent, which fortunately for them they do have in abundance. But so far, uh, Dark USA executing their three-node push quite effectively, and Skill Cup are going to start falling behind in this game as well. And actually, uh, Dark USA is doing a good job of kind of splitting up the team fight of Skill Cup as well, looking to try and isolate uh, perhaps Anya, Hannibal, or or Mur in this engagement. They have managed to group up once again, but Nos now with the Lich Swarm. We're going to connect some auto attacks onto Hannibal. He's taking a lot of damage, and Hannibal running a little bit low on stuff. Gets a good port, and he's able to disengage quite effectively. It's well played there by Hannibal, but that isn't going to stop Beyond from getting right on his ass immediately. Absolutely. Nos will fall down, and that's not what Dark USA want to see. Obviously, buffs or no buffs. Well, here, no buffs. We see the first kill of the game going the way of Skill Captain. Middle note as well, we will see the windmill still contested here into Grimjack, but he's going a little bit low. Obviously, the plus now from Xenius after the team fight went the way of skill cap is going to allow them to get the advantage here onto this node. And Grimjack's going to have to be careful that he doesn't get taken out and begin the stagger that we saw Team U Dark USA sort of forced into at the beginning, or rather the middle of that Coliseum game. Beyond will be coming back in here, and Nos will be coming right back out of spawn as well about now. So, unfortunately, that kill didn't really give skill cap any sort of advantage on the map other than just kind of just pressuring Grimjack down, but... Dark USA now looking to fight for Windmill again. And then Grim is still very, very low. He's already used his Glint Heal, so he is certainly a vulnerable target there. Moobs is available for a little bit of support onto Grim, but he's certainly going to be playing very careful. He does now have his heal skill back as well, so he should be okay for the time being. Skill Cup able to hold onto mid in that 1v1 and now looking to converge. Once again, uh, going for the strat where they're just going to take this fight uh, on the far node, on the Windmill. And if they're able to secure a kill and get a bit of a snowball going, that will certainly work out well for them. But it's certainly a risky play, in my opinion, to, to play, for this, uh, play for this node right next to this respawns of Dark USA. Especially because they don't actually have an advantage right now at all. And mm. Hannibal going very, very low up on top of the pipe. And it looks like Dark USA not going to be phased by that early kill on Nas. Holding down these side notes very effectively. Going for the kill. There's a stomp here now. Maybe coming out. There is a res. No, there's the stomp from Beyond. Really nice job from Beyond. They don't want to risk losing any sort of rallies. They don't want to risk giving the edge at all to Skill Captain. You can tell. They're looking to win this game out and close it out. And so far, they're doing a really nice job. And I also like the fact that Steel's actually playing a little bit more aggressive than we saw in the last game. Obviously, he has the ability to do so just because of how small the nodes are uh, in terms of the distance between each other compared to the Coliseum nodes. But I like that he's pushing on to mid. He's, he's kind of forcing the, the 1v1 there on mid with Urantian instead of allowing Urantian to try to, you know, potentially go for a decap whenever he leaves. So he's, he's getting himself involved a little more in the map, and I do like to see that. But the counter to that, of course, would be Xenius going for a decap as we actually see him do on Windmill over towards the mansion. Uh, but not going to see that as much as it looks like Xenius is kind of focused on staying in these fights. Still Steel actually getting a little bit of decap here, potential on mid knocking your ranting off the node doing a nice job there with the decap on windmill though it does mean that dark usa are forced to fight even harder now for this node is beyond is going to be a little bit pressured lich coming out now from hannibal as they start to chase moves down he's going to get isolated from the rest of his team they're just running in a straight line trying to get this firebrand <laughs> down the reflex coming up but i don't think it's going to be enough his heal skill used he has nothing left cc's going to keep him on cc's going to keep him off and down state goes the firebrand uh, it was a good reflect there from Moobs, actually able to hold off the Lich Swarm for a while, but it didn't last forever. Beyond able to wriggle away on a sliver of health, and he's going to have to disengage completely, I think, from that. But he actually, the Thief uh, from Skill Captain in hot pursuit, Xenia's not going to secure that kill. Once again, this strategy seems to be working quite effectively for Skill Cap. They're able to actually get away with that fight, and they might not be able to force the cap in time, I don't think. I think we're going to see... Actually, they get the kill on Grim, that's massive, but they're going to get that. They get, look, they get the CC. They should get Grim. That's not going to be resible either. The Storm coming through too, and that will be actually, you know, it does get interrupted but still they'll be able to get that almost immediately moves was not going to be able to uh, have enough cleave that actually maybe with nos they can do that nos arriving in the nick of time can they get that cleave grim maybe getting res all oh, good actual crisis management there from dark usa reviving that revenant they can now set to this if they actually got that kill that would have been so huge i think skill cap has got to be maybe shaking their head a little bit there uh, not feeling great about that especially with the lich now coming up from nos it's going to shove away Zenius. he's so low on 580 hp just is able to disengage though on thief he might i think we might just go for a decap there and we're going to see uh, that skill is, is going to end up getting cleaned up a little bit here on the windmill. Dark USA doesn't have possession of the node, of course, and the decap might actually come through. I think it will, yeah, it there should, we go, yes. it does. It's a good decap, but Murr is in so much trouble finding himself in the same position that Moobs was in earlier, getting trained down on Firebrand, but Nos and Moobs a little bit behind, not able to actually get enough pressure onto Murr to send him to the downside. But Steel Rage, able to reobtain the mansion pretty quickly. I 
You know, I actually almost would have preferred, it's a bit of a risky play, but I really would have preferred to see Dark USA maybe not go for the cap there on Windmill and instead push onto mid and get the kill. But Skill Cap actually kind of throwing away the fact that Dark USA is playing more defensively by pushing back in without Hannibal coming back into this. And Murr's going to go down for it. This maybe is reasonable, but I don't think it should be on setting up for the status of Stop. He's going to be able to get it. And there it is again, confirming that kill onto the Firebrand. And I think Skill Cap actually kind of just made a huge mistake, especially because Steel gets the decap on mid, doing such a good job. Honestly, Steel, I, I love the way he's playing in this game so far. He's doing such a great job right now. Indeed, he is. And you know, we, we see that kind of the far pushing strategy like, causing a few problems here for Skill Cap, I think, because it does allow um, the Dark USA. They've had Mansion ticking for most of this game, right? It hasn't even really been contested, even by the Thief. Only that one decap came through. We now do see a repush from the spawn from Skill Cap, and they should be able to neutralize that. But actually, Anya gets caught trying to transition over to this point, and there's no way that is going to be resible even on any plane of existence. Actually, Xenius is in trouble here as well. Might kind of get caught in the crossfire, but no, he's going to be able to wriggle away. But actually, never mind. Can't hold that thought real quick, because here comes the end. Enemy Thief, here comes uh, Beyond looking to go for that kill. Stealth does come through though from Zenia, so it should be okay for a while. And the map finds itself in a neutral state, but with a 100 point lead for Dark USA. Skill Cap, they've got to start to pull something out of the bag pretty quickly. And that cap over there is quite nice actually. The, uh, you do see that uh, Yurit is going to be able to grab the windmill. Should be able to get that relatively uncontested. If Skill Cap can now win this fight next to their spawn, they can absolutely get back in the mix. But actually, Murr is going to get caught. Hannibal and Anya might be able to res that, but no, the cleave is looking excellent from Grimjack and moves, and that's not going to happen. Skill Cap getting themselves a little bit staggered here, I think, and losing Using Hannibal as well. That's a massive blow. They're going to have to wait for both of those players to come back before they can really think about pushing out on the map. And with Anya falls here, that will be an absolute disaster for Skill Cap. But Anya so far kiting well. Might be able to make it back. And I like this movement here. Looking to go back to where the spawn is so he can easily regroup with his team. Yeah, and I, I got to be honest, Skill Cap kind of starting to, to play a little bit worse, I think, that we saw them on the Coliseum game. It seems as though they, they have a little bit less of a game plan here on Kylo, which is interesting because it is their pick. Uh, but, you know, without those buffs, you know, and, and I'm not, again, I'm not saying that the buffs are the only reason they were winning fights, but it just, it seems as though they're not really sure about where to go. And obviously, I think they did get staggered, and, and now they're realizing it. They've kind of regrouped around the map a little bit more. They're changing their rotations up a little bit. They're putting some more pressure onto the Mansion node, which they didn't really have a ton on before. And it is nice to see, but they've already lost a huge lead, about 160 points difference now and Dark USA are looking to easily close this game out right now especially if they continue to play as well as they have so far beyond doing a really nice job I'd say completely shutting down Xenius on the map he's not really able to get a lot of value and again Steel I think is definitely overmatching Urantian in the rotations and, and the placement that he's just putting himself in not having necessarily a, a huge impact in terms of the fights but in terms of the point game in terms of the nodes I think Steel is definitely doing a better job of Urantian right now Absolutely. I mean, if you really, if you honestly think about it, like uh, Steel's been contesting two nodes essentially because he's had the mansion ticking away while simultaneously pressuring the clock tower, right? Whereas, of course, uh, Urantian has only been doing the same thing for just the clock tower, so almost double value out of the soul beast from Dark USA in in a way, or maybe like one point five times value because it's kind of been uh, held neutral or held in possession of skill cap for a while so you know still that's a, that's a high value salt piece right there right you know that's pretty good isn't it but now yeah, the team fight is erupting and the focus is very heavily onto nos both teams ripping each other's health bars to shreds but i think skill cap actually do get a little bit of an edge there they're very far behind they need this to be clean they need it to be decisive and they need it to be explosive but actually their necromancer hannibal very very low indeed just barely gets into trouble with only one percent health left over i mean one point k one point three k health left because they're gonna need some desperate support from the team immediately after this and go for go for a heal skill to survive Beyond that. on 80 health? He's Whoa. at 1% and he's able to get out. Oh, wow. What a travesty for skill cap. If they found the kill on that thief, this would have been a completely free decap. Beyond is going in, though. He's not going to be able to stop the decap from happening. And right now, skill cap to put themselves in a position where they could win if they can completely shut the map down. But that is going to be a lot easier said than done. Oh, that is incredibly unfortunate. My overlay is a little bit broken. What a travesty that is. It's now actually reasserting itself, so that is okay. Uh, but Beyond does end up getting caught there. Xenius going for the big, big cleave. Soon they should be able to get that. No, the revive comes through just before the knock. Oh, that is unfortunate there. Four skill-capped moves. Getting caught there, taking a bit of pressure, but is able to disengage. But with absolutely no cooldowns, he won't be able to contribute to these fights, at least for the foreseeable future. Absolutely. And, you know, I think this this is obviously going to really test skill cap if they're able to kind of play for the entire map and also gain 200 plus points before we can really see Dark USA get any. 
Unfortunately for them, I, I don't know if it's possible. Middle node already more or less locked down for Dark USA, and they know at this point they can easily play for one node. Five minutes left in the game, and only about 85 points left for Dark USA to get with the cap here on middle node. It really it really forces the issue here from, from skill captain. If they're not going to be able to answer it, and that is going to be the game over, and we will be going to a third match. Obviously, not the end of the world there for skill cap, but certainly not what they wanted, not what they were looking for. And so far, this match has basically been all Dark USA, bar a couple of kills there, I'd say, on Nost, one or so on maybe moves. Indeed, and yeah, the two cap has come through, but it's not good enough, Roy. They need that third node, and... I think they actually, they need a decap at least. There's still a fair amount of time left in this game, right? Like it's, it's you know, there's, there's plenty of time, I think, for skill cap to make a comeback, but they really need to be able to play all three. And we already see that that might not be possible because Hannibal has been caught. And there's a stomp too from beyond. Very nice stomp. And mm, yeah, that, that might be the beginning of the end here for skill cap. Of course, you know, just the beginning. But there's going to be another game uh, after this, if it does come to that. But Steel, still moving there. Oh, that could be a massive kill. Oh, that's great actually from Xenius picking up that kill on the steel ridge maybe they can actually get something off that if they can get this mid kill on mid here Anya's still contesting that very very nicely indeed if this team fight can somehow go in the favor of skill cap oh but Mur gets oh. pulled in without cooldowns he does get a not wait that might be the decap on mid oh the trap oh. Wait. Post that sub yeah. was amazing there from beyond. And he's able to actually contest the note at the same time as getting the kill. The trap coming in as well for Hannibal, but I think it's going to be too little too late. Unfortunately, the entire skill cap team taken out. And honestly, Hannibal might be doing this a little bit more as a joke than anything else. 20 points left. Urantian, the only one able to contest this. And that will more or less be GG confirmed. Dark USA, they're not done yet. Oh, no, they are absolutely not. They're taking this to 1 1. We're going to our final map for a complete sudden death. Round. I think a lot of people were complaining, or maybe just commenting on the fact, maybe putting a few Omega Lulls, how a lot of the NA games were two zeros yesterday, but oh no, that is not the case anymore. We're going to all three games, and honestly, I really hope to see a lot more of this, because some of these are getting pretty damn intense indeed. And I believe we actually do have a few things that Angels wants to go over. So it's time to head on over to the analysis desk. And here we go. Of course, this is, of course, from the Dark, uh, the Dark Crusade into USA game. But here we go. We are now having a look at a clip. So Angels, what so, are we exactly we looking at here? So I actually just wanted to highlight something. A kind of a big throw that um, Skill Check made um, that basically locked them out of the rest of the map. If I can just find it here. Of course, scrubbing through this is the uh, easiest thing ever. Yeah, so I believe it was this kill. No, it was it was the knockback on the kill down here? Um, they actually had the kill, and no, wait, where is this thing? Torrent. Are you looking for the Grimjack kill here? Yeah, the Grimjack kill here. So they actually do get the kill on Grimjack, and that would have been quite quite big because as we can see, we have moves coming off of um, moves coming off of. Uh, uh, respawn here, but they do actually knock Grim, and they knock him so that then Nos is able to jump down into the same location, and Moobs is able to get here quickly, and they're able to get the the cap and uh, the 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 res. And what we actually see here is that the stomp was beginning, and there was no way that they would that this would have been present prevented. So this was like oh, it it was pre like the 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 stomp was interrupted, but the Hannibal was so far away from the cleave that they just threw. This kill in effect and that yeah. was a kind of a big throw as usa was able to immediate what well, dot usa was able to immediately regroup and then they captured the rest of the map get in the mix prepare yourselves for the final match of the lower bracket between a dark usa and skill capped here we are let's get this done Oh, and look, look who's there in the chat, Brazil in the chat, to check out that stuff. There's all very exciting stuff. He's arrived to check out some of these esports. But here we go. It's going to be Skill Captain Dark USA facing off once again. And both sides are going to be capped there. And there was an attempted push there. And I think Skill Captain is kind of reacting to what happened there with Dark USA. You know, Dark USA is, is, has always been pushing Steel into that node. But this time, that is not going to be the case uh, this time around. Skill Captain able to intercept that and get that node capping almost immediately and getting some points ticking away. 
Absolutely. And Malice already under a little bit of pressure. And it looks like, honestly, Skillcap has kind of started to focus down the Necro here from Dark USA over the Firebrand a little bit. A little bit of a change of pace from a lot of these NA fights. But either way, Murr going to still be the target, it looks like, here from Dark USA. They're training him down very hard. He is able to sustain himself for a little bit longer. RF to keep alive now. Beyond, though, actually getting a little bit pressured out here. And he's going to go down in this fight already. That could be a very decisive kill in this fight. Steel on the res, but he's going to get knocked away. And that should be the cleave confirmed onto the thief. A very easy target to cleave out here for Skillcap. Nas going to be pretty pressured out of the fight as well. Isolated from the rest of his team. He doesn't have very much left out of Shroud. Is Heal going to be up in a couple of seconds? He does get a Fear Worm port away here. Might be able to get the heal out as well. The CC's not there. He's still going to be very low, but he does a great job of kiting, and Grimjack is going to be able to peel him out at the moment, but the numbers here on the map uh, are still going to be in favor of Skillcap. Nos is in a lot of trouble too. He might end up going down, and yes, he does. Great burst there coming out from Skillcap, and they lock that kill down, and they should be able to maintain control of this node. And now, Skillcap has nearly lost control over the Bazaar. That 1v1 is very precarious, and that's why we see the plus from Xenius into that immediately. We see Beyond rushing off respawn to uh, try and match that, I believe. But certainly the edge is going to go to skill cap there indeed. And they're going to find themselves uh, with a nice lead at the start of this game. Even actually getting the decap. It was a lovely rotation there by Xenius. Able to get that in all the midst of that chaos. And Dark USA not able to respond to that quite in time. Yeah, and we actually see the double cap here now for skill cap doing a good job. And of course the first bell be coming up in 50 seconds. And that will be a pretty impactful uh, mechanic, I'd say. Obviously, we saw the mechanics of the map kind of go the way of Skill Cap on Coliseum. Obviously, Kylo wasn't really relevant, but if Skill Cap are able to lock down the Bills, kind of like we saw Team USA do against Dark USA uh, in their set, then they definitely will have a good advantage on the map. But of course, first they've got to win the fights and do win them consistently. Anya having a little bit of trouble here on mid, but it should be okay at the moment. Grimjack doing a really nice job of actually peeling both Murr and Hannibal away from the node. Let's now coming out from Nos. They're really trying to force the kill here on the Revenant on the side of Skill Captain. He's getting a little bit low, doesn't have his Glen heal up for a couple more seconds, and he's gonna be in a little bit of trouble if they continue to focus him down. CC so good right now on Hannibal, completely shutting down any damage he can do, but now, finally, Skill Captain started to turn onto Nas. They're looking for damage, Moob's gonna be peeling for him. Doesn't need to be careful that he doesn't overextend himself, but Hannibal is starting to get pretty low as well. It looks like Dark USA have realized the Necro might be the good target, and they're finally gonna be able to find a kill in this game here onto the Necro. The res starting to come out. It's so very close, but the stop is gonna be there. And, and Murdoizing the Cleave well. as well. And he probably will fall himself as Grimjack moves and Nas are looking to clean up on mid. Yeah, that actually Mur might end up getting revived there with the glyph, uh, sorry, the symbol rather. They do get that. That's a fantastic uh, res there. I don't think Dark USA were anticipating that that would any way uh, happen there. But Skillcap still maintaining that lead even after that kill. But actually, this kill on Xenius is huge. The bell's going to be for free. Xenius can't get the port either onto that. And that is a really nice pickup there uh, for Steel to grab that. And he'll even be able to get the decap to nothing to contest that. That is working out extremely well. Skillcap, though, are still doing okay here on mid. But Murr eventually does end up falling. Euro's going to have to hold this 1v3 for the time being. And oh, that was a bit of a disastrous exchange. That after catastrophe for Skillcap. Dark USA able to massively get back into this game after a bit of a rocky road at the start. They might even be looking at a three cap here as well. Steel should be able to grab the bazaar. Yes, he's able to get it. And we still see the Revenant there from Grimjack. He should be able to full cap the, uh, the archway and then go for the push into the team fight. Absolutely, and Dark USA doing an excellent job of completely flipping the map now, and it's going to be the triple cap here. Skill capped. Going to have to answer this, and they're going to have to answer it pretty quickly. Their lead is going to be very, very short-lived here as they do get the decap on Bizarre, slightly slowing down Dark USA's point game, but they're not going to be forced to fight for it, and they're not really going to have an app opportunity to move out in the rest of the map. We do see Xenius getting out there to try to go for the decap on Doc, but he's going to be met by Beyond, so it's now going to be up to the rest of his team to get that ca cap. Well obviously the cap and now the fight as well onto the dark usa team that are pushing into bizarre and slowly but steadily dark usa will take the lead now with the double cap on the map that has been completely denied we do see xenius as well taking out 1v1 to beyond which is a huge kill because beyond can now plus into this fight for free Murr already going to be a little bit pressured here skill cap definitely having some trouble into this fight moves is a little bit low but he's going to be healed back up he still has his rf available as well if he does start to get pressured out and right now dark usa controlling the pace controlling the momentum and controlling these fights on capricorn Indeed, they are. The thief has been eliminated, and that was going to take a little bit of t uh, punch out of the team fight. And with Hannibal falling as well, oh, just a few moves. Is he going to be able to wriggle away? No, he is not. The res might come through actually from Skillcup. They think they might be able to get it. Great knockback, and Murph falls in the cleave. Oh, I think Skillcup's starting to crumble a little bit here, Roy. 
Absolutely, yeah, they're definitely having some trouble sustaining these fights, and a really good stop there. We've seen Beyond going for this a lot. We did saw it on Kylo Moves. Will fall, actually, maybe overextending a little bit, but I don't think that there's going to be too much danger of him actually getting cleaved out. Anya, not going to be able to stay there. Nas, not going to be able to stay there either, and, or rather, uh, Xenius, and I, I don't think, yeah, we're not going to be able to see the kill, unfortunately, confirmed, and still, those two nodes that Dark USA have now have held, the Archway and the Dock, have been held for so long, and honestly, I think Dark USA maybe losing to Skill Captain Coliseum was a bit of a wake-up call for them. They realized they really needed to start getting getting their act together a little bit, and that's what we've seen the last two games. Kylo was a very, very good performance in Dark USA, and so far in Capricorn, it's been more of the same. Boob's now going for the second bell. That'll add 50 points to them. And honestly, if Skill Cap don't start playing a little bit different and a little bit better, this game is going to be over before it began. Yeah, and that's the second bell now captured 50 points lockdown for Dark USA. That team fight that we just witnessed there on the bazaar was incredibly unfortunate because as uh, Skillcut unfortunately tragically lost so many of their players, the bell was spawning simultaneously to that, and that just simply spiraled the game out of control and Skillcapped in a bit of a rough spot right now beyond able to take this 1v1 into Xenius quite effectively. Yura is looking to capture the arch where he is able to get that done, holding on to some points at the very, very least in this game, but once again, we see Skillcat moving over towards uh, the dock uh, for uh, Dark USA, and that's going to be a difficult spot for them to fight. They don't currently have a map advantage right now, and all oh, those points are just ticking away right now for Dark USA. This needs to be a quick and very decisive win for Skillcat. They're actually getting a lot of damage on Nos, getting a good pull on him, but he does have full shroud, so he should be okay for a while. The Lich comes out, and actually, the Lich of Hannibal is getting heavily pressured by Dark USA. Is he going to be able to continue to provide enough damage to his team to get away with this? Actually, he might not be. I think Dark USA, they really want to get that Necromancer. He is certainly the target. He gets knocked off the kite spot. He might end up falling in. Oh, great port away, though. And dodges the Heart Seeker with the steel. They're the end. They turn it around. They get the kill on the skill cap. They are not done just yet, Roy. They want to make this comeback. But ah, oh, I really think that third node is going to be a massive issue for them. Just the fact that Yuri just exists right now. Uh, sorry, not uh, rather. Steel existing right now is a huge problem for skill cap because a two cap is actually not quite good enough for them. They need a little bit more than that. He's beyond about to live on 1% HP again. Zenny's oh. looking to hunt him down, but oh, I think he might get away. HP. This thief just cannot be stopped from beyond. And we do see the double cap, the map now turning the way of skill captain. You know, obviously they have a pretty big gap to close up. And as you mentioned, that one node is going to be very, very difficult for them to decap. But with the bell, it's definitely possible as long as they can continue to win these fights and, and put the map into their favor. But they are definitely playing far, far, far from behind. About 130 points difference. And they've got a lot to make up. Nas actually getting kind of shoved away out of spawn here a little bit. And he doesn't need to be careful as beyond is going to be pressured out a little bit from the node as well. Grimjack getting CC'd away. Bell coming up now in about 40 seconds. This bell is very much required here for skill cap to take and that does put more pressure on them but if they can find some kills here and maybe chain them off and snowball them a little bit it will help them out but Hannibal starting to sort of put that away as he's going to be very very pressured Nas with the Lich coming out Hannibal full shroud he's going to be able to stay alive for a couple more seconds if they can find a kill now they might be able to do it Nas again going to be pressured out pretty hard here he is going to be pretty low does have a decent amount of shroud available to him and I don't, can't say the same for Hannibal as he's going to be way more pressured but the CC connecting on a Nas they're hard training him down Hannibal still kiting for all he's worth but Grimjack is going to find the kill now onto the necro there from skill cap now still alive this could be it this might be the last kill that dark usa really need to finish this game they're not going to be able to get the res they're not going to be able to get the rally now still alive the decap might come through and duck and that bell is looking very very good for dark usa uh this is really unfortunate situation for skill cap this is the point in the game where that bell is going to be worth 75 points for dark usa so all they really have to do is just go there with all of their team they've got a map advantage right the necromancer from skill cap was just killed i think xenius is going to get caught as well oh that's going to be it i think we are going to see maybe nos is going to go down maybe mer's going to be able to get that kill but anya is so so low and actually the stomp is coming through is this one going to actually land oh. no it's not it's not going to land they do get the uh, that would have been that would have been insane what a potential turnaround that would have been. And we do see the skill cap has actually managed to control the map at least a little bit. Uh, and they now find themselves back in a potential situation where they might be able to get something done and maybe achieve victory uh, if they can hold on to this. But I don't think they can really do that. Anya nearly getting res there. Great res from Murr able to get that. And the cleave uh, just strong enough to get that kill. And with those two kills, I think that is going to pretty much seal the deal, Roy, uh, at that point. Dark USA is going to be uh, your second qualifier for the global finals of masters of the arena but not only that they have got one more challenge yet ahead of them they've got to climb all the way back up there and they've got to go up against team usa again in a pretty spectacular rematch here right at the end of the day absolutely and i gotta be honest you know really good job there from skill capped you know they definitely i mean 
I, I was saying before that the legacy game um, between Ultranum and Rank 55 and you, I think, was the best game we've had all set. And it's a very, very close match, I'd say, between that one and the Coliseum game that we just had with Skill Captain Dark USA. But credit where credit is due. Honestly, Dark USA, they didn't look too hot against Team USA. And obviously, losing that map on a Coliseum as we come back into the map here uh, into Skill Captain, not ideal for them. But they definitely looked a lot better there in the last two games. And, and I got to be honest, I, I think that, again, it was a bit of a wake up call losing this map to. Uh, to skill cap, they they really got their act together, and they looked so much cleaner in the last two games. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing them play in a Team USA again and, and see if they're going to be able to make any sort of difference in this next set. We'll get that underway and shortly. Obviously, we will allow Dark USA a small break if they need to.